in this video, we're revealing the top 10 penny stocks for beginners that will make you rich. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here, welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several slots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so sign up for it now. All right guys, before we begin, remember this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just some guy that compares ways to make money online with investments to see which one is actually a better use of my time. Like as you can see, for example, in one of like my online businesses, we went from like $7 a day in the middle of August to $300 a day. And at that point I was like, oh my gosh, that's like insane. That's like a huge return in my time invested within six months. And then you could see if I look at even in the past 90 days, it went from like that to like $700 a day to $1,000 a day to even like, if we look at yesterday was $1,496 and today was $1,458. Right, and also another online business where now I invest a lot of the profits into this business to also grow with a product that I did not have to create myself. You can see in the past 30 days, we've netted about like 60 grand net, and in the past seven days, we've netted about like $12,000 net. But for me, as an investor of my time and money, I always start seeing what other opportunities are out there, especially with like penny stocks. But you can see exactly, like for example, on this blog article on um, Timothy Sykes' blog, you can see some of the top performing penny stocks of all time made people a lot of money. Like for example, True Religion Jeans, check this out, a $5,000 increase. And then you have Apple. Apple was 80 cents per share, a legit penny stock, now trades over $370. Right, a lot of these things, people would have made a bunch of money if they would have realized that. That's what I was thinking of. I was like, okay, well maybe if I could find you know, something that's literally worth pennies that maybe in the future could be worth hundreds, you're literally having a huge multiple of your money. So as I started studying this, I was like, wow, this is crazy. Ford Motor Company, uh, stock only trades about like $7 per share. But when it first got started, it was literally like nothing. And then you could see this, this was for Monster Beverage Corporation, six cents per share and now trades over 70 bucks, meaning $1,000 investment could have turned into 1 million. So I started thinking, I was like, okay, well if I could just put like $1,000 from the money that I'm making from my online business into the right penny stock, that could essentially like almost 1,000X, which is like ridiculous, right? Which is why I wanted to compare that to like what Yahoo Finance says is the top 10 penny stocks right now to go ahead and buy and compare it to like what would be a better use of your time, right? So the first thing that they talk about is on COVID therapeutics and I could put all the links in the description. They're working on treatments for uh, breast cancer. The company's two main drugs are currently in phase one in China. At the end of the fourth quarter, there was one hedge fund in Insider Monkey database. Um, you could see that the stock has went up nearly 187% in over 12 months. Then you have Atari is a French video game company that owns things like Pong, Asteroids, and Centipede. They did over 253%, so doubled in 12 months. You have Denison Mines Corporation, which is a Canadian company that's primarily engaged in uranium explosion. And as you can see, they've netted about 3X in the past 12 months. And you could see num or Citus Pharmaceuticals, uh, farm, and all of them, they're saying one of the best penny stocks right now. It's listed on the NASDAQ and they've returned about 3X in the past 12 months. You have IQSTEL. They've traded about like 9X in the 12 months. So essentially if you put a $1,000 in, it would have been nine grand right then and there. And then you have this super French name, which is a Canadian based company exploring graphite, which is really interesting. They've netted about like a thousand percent in the past 12 months, so they nearly 10X. Then you have Energy Unlimited. They did over 20X in the past 12 months, which is ridiculous. Then you have American Battery Metals Corporation that did about a 40X in the past 12 months. And then Alpine 4 Holdings Inc, about 7DX in the past 12 months. That's crazy. And last but not least, you have Ascent Solar Technologies, which pulled in about a 35,000% over 12 months. As you guys can see right here, they had at about like four cents per share. And people that invest in this made a bunch of money. But what do most people, when they get started in penny stocks, what they don't see? is behind every single one of these penny stocks are a lot of things. Number one, psychology, like you see this in the crypto space. Because people see things for like, for example, pennies, it's very easy, for example, once it gets to like, for example, Dogecoin, 50 cents, where normal ordinary retail investors that have no idea about investment see that, they're like, oh, it's so cheap, it's only 50 cents, right? And they go ahead and buy it. And a lot of people play into the penny stock idea because of the human psychology. They understand, okay, well, if I get this for like, 
like less than a penny, right? I could get like a bunch of shares. But for me to double my money from, from, from that amount, the, the, the price of the penny stock would have to go from one cent to two cents, right? But like what most people don't understand is when you see a penny stock at like 50 cents, it might have already like 50 or 100 X at this point, especially in the, in the crypto space. That's why you see everything so volatile. And what this ends up doing is a lot of companies end up creating fake companies that try creating penny stocks for the sole purpose of trying to make a bunch of money by just the psychology of people thinking, oh, I can make a bunch of money because this is under a dollar. Because maybe this might be the next Apple. This might be the next monster. This might be the next true religion genes, right? If this would go to $50, $70, $100, I can make a bunch of money. But what not a lot of people realize is the exact like entire supply and market cap of that specific penny stock. Because like I said, the fact that, you know, it's like five cents or 10 cents doesn't matter. It's number one, how good is the business behind it? Is it a really good business or are they just like blowing smokes and mirrors in your face? Uh, the second thing is, is it backed by a company that's actually profitable, right? If they're not making any profit, then a lot of the money in penny stocks are just speculation. And number three, you also gotta understand, okay, what is the actual, uh, for example, cap of this? How big this can this actually grow? Like I said, for Dogecoin, people wanted it to get to a dollar. But for you guys to understand, look at this. It's not necessarily about the prices, but you gotta see like, for example, the market cap, because this is what it essentially needs to be to go ahead and double, right? So for example, Doge Camp, there's about like, what is this? $42 billion market cap, meaning that's kind of like what Dogecoin is valued at. So for you to double your money, it would have to go from 30 cents to 60 cents, and this would have to go from 40 billion to 80 billion, okay? So that's essentially a 10th of the size of Bitcoin. So you guys gotta understand like, does Dogecoin have that possibility to actually grow that much? And like I said, the main reason why these penny stocks are growing so much isn't actually because the business is backed by like a really good business. It's literally just based off of stupidity and people just falling into the hype of, oh my God, I can make a bunch of money with this thing. It's the exact same thing that happened, for example, with Tesla, right? Tesla, literally everyone just started pumping it like crazy because everyone's like, oh my God, you could like get really rich, right? And if people bought in, for example, at a hundred bucks, they would have 10x, they would have like 6x their money by the time of the peak. But what not a lot of people realize is most people that made the most money is when they got in in like 2011. $4, by the time they went up to like, for example, $116, they've already nearly 50x their money. So most of the money is already made in the beginning. Like I said, a, a lot of people just throw money in here, but because of that, they get really bad at investing and they waste a lot of time, a lot of money, and they just become really reactive. Like you see some of these people that do a lot of training in penny stocks and crypto here in Bali with all these people that like live here that make a bunch of money online, like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars from the profit. All these people literally look like addicts looking at their screen, looking at the ups and downs and seeing if they could find a penny stock that could make them rich. But because of that, they lose more of their money. It's just triggering the gambling approach in your mind. And sometimes these 10 best penny stocks will actually just lose you more money than whatnot. Like you could tell from this, this guy is really good at trading penny stocks. He's like one of the best, right? But he made 7 million in the past seven, 20 years. So if you do the math, he's averaging about a quarter million dollars a year and he's one of the best. Assuming you're probably not the best when you're watching this, you maybe make a fraction of that. That's why for me, I didn't choose like penny stocks, I chose like an online business because I'm not the best at everything. But you could find your little nook and cranny to the point where like I said, like a penny stock, but it was my own revenue, right, that I'm pulling in, $11 a day in August, and then within six months, it hit $300 a day. And this isn't money that I like, am not realizing until after I sell like with penny stocks. This is now money that I'm actually getting paid because I'm realizing, wow, if I really wanna make money, I have to create value. And you could see that look at this, now we're averaging $1,400 a day. And with this other online business in the past 30 days, we've netted about like 60 grand net, guys. So hopefully this helps. If you want a faster and easier way to make money online that doesn't depend on penny stocks, sign up for this week's free workshop below. We have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. As well as check out my podcast of all these multimillionaires that literally live here in Bali, here and here. Hope this helps. Love you guys. See you guys later. You.